let's now move to the next part. How do we represent organic compounds? So we can represent them in multiple ways or different ways. So for us, it's good enough to learn four of them. First of all, empirical formula. Itamra already we studied this in moles. What is an empirical formula? An empirical formula shows us the simplest this. ratio of a equation. No. Not an equation. Not simplest thing. ratio. Simplest ratio of the different types of atoms present in a compound. Then now let's come to molecular formula. What is molecular formula? Molecular formula shows us the actual number of atoms. Shows us the actual number of atoms of each element present in a compound. So it's an analogy key of the bird. So for your school, the ratio between the boys and girls is one is to one. So Tarmane, for each for each boy, there's one girl, one is two. So this is the simplest ratio. But what is the actual number of girls or what is the actual number of boys present? It could either be 20 to 20. 20 boys in one class and 20 girls in the same class, 20, if out of 40 students, there are 20 boys and 20 girls. Or this is just one section. If you are, you can, if you take a one whole year or just for grade nine, for example, there are like 100 boys versus 100 girls. So these are molecular formulas. Molecular formula, hello, it shows us the act number of atoms of each element present in a compound. So Amra Judy Dhorini, Amra, we can say that the empirical formula of an alkene compound is CH2. That's the simplest ratio. Now if we find out the molecular formula, what is the molecular formula? Molecular formula shows us the actual number of atoms of each element present in a compound. So if you if if it's like a two carbon alkene, it's gonna be C2H4. Ratio into it's still one is two. If it's like a three carbon, com uh, sorry, three carbon compound, it's going to be C3, H6. Again, it's still, it's still, the ratio is one is to two. It could be C4, H8. So this is the difference between an empirical formula and a molecular formula. At the starting, at the starting of this chapter, we studied about carbohydrates, CHO. So what is the CHO? It's the empirical formula. Actually, CH2O. For, a, for the empirical formula of a carbohydrate is C, CH2O. So it is the glucose, C6H12O6. Yeah. So it is the CHO. If you simplify it, it comes out to be 
CH two O. So what is C six H twelve O six? It is the molecular formula. So what is molecular formula? It shows us the actual number of atoms of each element present in a compound. What is an empirical formula? Empirical formula shows us the simplest ratio of each type of atom present. Next is structural formula. So structural formula is basically J. How are the atoms arranged? Is that go CH3, CH2, CH, CH, C double one, CH, CL? So if you actually to zoom for the I guess no the easier of a Is it better now? So this is a compound. CH3, CH2, 2, CH, CH, double one, CH, CH. So basically they're showing that so my key key atoms are present are how are they arranged so what does the structural formula show us this shows us how the atoms are joined together in an organic compound carbon carbon double bond are always shown in the structural formula Carbon carbon single bonds, if needed to make the structure clearer, some examples include this. So, I can again talk to mother on it. On it, the chances that you'll make a mistake here. High chances you'll make a mistake. So, that's why what they figured out is a displayed form. They figured out a displayed formula. The displayed formula is the same thing, but it will show us all the types of atoms present. Sorry, all the types of bonds present. How is each of the atom bonded to its other atom? It will show us all the types of bonds. So if this is a little complex, let's just Take about think about this compound. So if this compound was written as a structural formula, this would have been written as CH3. C O O H. This is the structural formula. Sorry. This is a structural formula. The structural formula key, it shows us the atoms present and how it is arranged. But the displayed formula shows us each of the atoms which are present. So displayed formula is the safest way of representing an organic, at least for all of this. It's the simplest or it's the most easiest way and it's the most accurate way. If you, if you learn how to draw a displayed formula, you have learned 50% of organic chemistry. It's very important, very, very important. So here, what is the basic difference between a structural formula and a displayed formula? Displayed formula is an expanded form of the structural formula showing the location and type of each bond in an organic molecule. The display formula of ethanoic acid is this. So here, 
This was a dis, uh, structural formula. This is a displayed formula. Here, they have just written CH3. Here, they have shown the, each of the bonds of this CH3. Here, they just wrote COOH. Here, they are actually showing us the, what bonds are present in a carboxylic acid. So, representing an organic compounds, organic compound, there are four ways. One is an empirical formula, a, a, a molecular formula, a displayed formula, and a structural formula.